So now that we have some tools under our belt and we're able to go ahead and, and actually practice some movements of a uh, cybersecurity analyst, I want you to really dive in and create different scenarios, if you can, of different problems people may have. OK, so this gives you more of an in-depth uh, understanding of the tool and then how can you use the tool to help people in their day-to-day -day processes, right? So um, with Wireshark, I want you to really dig into seeing what's on the, the network and seeing what is actually common, having conversations uh, on the back end of the network. So if you're seeing not only uh, is your uh, Apple uh, iPhone is actually having a conversation, but maybe the applications within the iPhone is having having uh, communications as well. So I want you to uh, look into um, virus total, see if you can understand how hashing can help someone determine if they got the right uh, software. Uh, also, see if you can look up different websites to see if there are any kind of malicious links uh, embedded onto their um, onto their website. Uh, also, go into uh, Microsoft Defender here. So, like in Defender, see what settings that you have. See how you could set up a a scan to run on a, a normal basis. See what you need to do when it comes to quarantining a a, a, um, a malicious software. How do we clean that? Uh, that uh, residue from our actual PC. Uh, what do we want to do if we want to look at it for further investigation? So all these things that help you understand uh, the tool a little bit more. So when it comes to uh, actually getting a job interview and they ask you to go in depth with the tool, that you're able to speak uh, knowledgeable about the tool, but more importantly, you're able to speak more knowledgeable about how it's used to solve or mitigate issues and vulnerabilities that we have out there in the real world.